It's really taking you on a kind of odyssey, if you will. And there's no better place than to see that on the big screen. I wouldn't change being part of you for all the world. You know where you're all my boys? But we're not. It's a story about a young boy of Nigerian descent who's fostered by a white foster parent in Lincolnshire. And our story picks up when his biological Nigerian mother comes and picks him up from Lincolnshire, takes him to South London to live with her, and he has to work out his new identity in a new space. You settling in, OK? Yeah. I did not raise you to be rude. You didn't raise me. Being raised in London myself, I felt like I connected with Femi's story in many ways. and. All of the sort of themes and conflicts that Femi faced were things that I felt like I'd seen or had experienced myself in one way or another. Um, and I just felt like it, it had so many universal themes as well that just meant regardless of where you come from or what you look like, you'd still be able to connect with this character because essentially it's about a young man finding himself. For me, it's pure collaboration, like casting. You cast as close to the bone, so therefore, once I cast Sam, Sam is the character. So I'm asking him a lot of questions to understand more things about the characters, not just stuff on the page, but stuff that you develop through the process. It's always got to transcend the script. The script's just the blueprint, and it makes the film a live process. I didn't bring you here for this. I just want what was best for you. Everything we do in this film, from the camera work to the sound design is about putting you in family subjectivity and keeping you there throughout the narratives. And it's a narrative that takes place over three key locations at three distinct times. So when you're in those fields of Lincolnshire, you're really taking it all in. When you're in South London, um, in that kind of uh, more claustrophobic environment, you feel that. And when you're in Lagos, you know, it's completely feels like you're entering a completely new energy space environment. It's nice to to see people react uh, to our film in, in sort of different ways and, and to, to really connect with it as well, to see how people can relate to the themes and, and to see that it has that sort of universality about it is really cool. I think the breakthrough for the character in this film is when he gets to a place of understanding his past and all of the different uh, identities that he holds and he feels as a coalescence. He's, he's, it's not an, a disruptive thing for him anymore. And I just think that's such a, important thing for any individual to to get to uh, get to a point with feeling at ease with your history your past your identity or identities where we have a multitude um, and also not judging books by its cover because I think this film is all about subversion and disrupting people's notions and ideas and preconceptions mm. and I think we could all benefit from a little more of that mm.